Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. The liberal mainstream media hate President Trump so badly they're willing to glorify a brutal dictator in order to insult Vice President Mike Pence. Think about that. The liberal media actually prefer Kim Jong-un over President Trump. How quickly liberals forget about Otto Warmbier. CNN, The New York Times, The Washington Post, ABC, and Reuters, all complicit in glorifying a sadistic she-devil, the sister of Kim Jong-un, because a camera caught Kim giving Vice President Pence the side eye at the opening ceremonies on Friday. The media loved it because, you know, that'll show Trump. The New York Times proclaimed, without a word, only flashing smiles, Kim Jong-un's sister outflanked Vice President Mike Pence in diplomacy. CNN claimed Kim Jong-un's sister is stealing the show at the Winter Olympics. The Washington Post says Kim captivates. The BBC called Kim Jong-un sister North Korea's Ivanka Trump. So let's break this down. According to the mainstream media, Ivanka Trump is complicit in her father's administration, but Kim Jo Young is not. Make no mistake, Kim Jo Young is more than complicit. Her family runs the gulags in North Korea. She herself is the director of propaganda. And what she's doing at the Olympics is literally living propaganda. And the mainstream media is falling for an empty liberal head over tyrant's heels. According to Reuters, North Korea has been judged the winner of diplomatic gold at, Olympic, at the Olympics. And their article quotes a person who claimed Kim's smile made North Korea appear to be a normal state. A normal state? Is it normal to you to starve your people to death? Is it normal to you that North Korean hockey player John Soo Hyun said, playing at the Olympics felt like competing in heaven, but her translator corrected her interpretation to, it felt like I was competing in my own country. Does that sound normal to you? Is it normal to sadistically torture a 20-year-old American college student because he swiped a propaganda sign from a hotel room? Kim Jong-un's sister is a monster, a killer, a torturist. She's proudly representing a regime that last time South Korea hosted the Olympic Games, her country blew up a commercial airplane mid-air, killing 115 people on board. That is not normal. Also not normal, the way the liberal media is fawning over an evil killer. Does the media want North Korea to win here? Do they truly hate Donald Trump with such a fearsome loathing that they're willing to ignore the millions of people who are starved to death by Kim Jong-un? The hundreds of thousands of North Koreans who are killed? The advisors who are assassinated? The citizens who are plagued with cancer from the radiation of Kim Jong-un's nuclear test site, which he places amongst his people? Is the liberal media willing to ignore the 100,000 prisoners who are kept as slaves of the regime? Or the fact that Kim Jong-un's propaganda ministry refuses to report the death counts from his prison camps because the numbers are so enormously damning? Is the media willing to turn a blind eye on the three Americans held in captivity right now by the communist dictator? The walking skeletons in North Korea's labor camps beaten and worked so hard that they literally drop dead. The Christians in North Korea who are living a life of hell. Is the media truly willing to look at the crutches of Ji Sung Ho, the North Korean tortured for trying to find food for his family, dismiss the atrocities committed by Kim Jong-un and his sister so barbaric and so inhumane that the United Nations declared them to be crimes against humanity? Is the mainstream media willing to overlook that evil all because they don't like Donald Trump? I think they are. But see, here's the thing. Sagar and Jetty from The Daily Caller wrapped it up with chilling clarity on Twitter last night. And Jetty tweeted, my theory behind Kim Yo Jong Gate is that many of us in the West can no longer comprehend the depravity of a regime like North Korea. We spend so much time calling minuscule things Hitler-like, we've forgotten how to process true evil. And make no mistake, Kim Jong Un's sister is true evil. This is the Korean Peninsula, South Korea lit up and thriving, North Korea dark, black, destitute, and starving. But liberals feel nothing. They know nothing of cruelty and Kim Jong-un's tyranny. They spend so much of their time crying wolf, decrying Republican politicians as purveyors of dictatorship, that when faced with a truly evil dictator, they feel nothing except their rabid hatred of Donald Trump. And that's my final point.